Hi, John here. In this video, we are going to look at the ball valve and I'm going to explain to you how the ball valve works and some of its main components. And at the end of the video, we're going to look at the advantages and disadvantages associated with this type of valve. By the end of it, you should get a feeling of where we can use the valve and in what sort of applications. So let's first pause the animation for a moment and we'll do a little spin. We can see the ball valve on this side. We can see the body. Notice that the body is slightly larger here. This is because this is where our ball is housed. If we go around here, we can see through the valve. And there we go, we're back around to the cross section side. I'll take a full view and we can have a look again. And it's symmetrical on the opposite side. So it's got quite a unique shape. But in order to fully understand the valve and how it works, let's just take the cross section and I'll add the labels, although we're not going to talk in great detail about that right now. We'll do that later in the course. So here we have the ball valve with some of the main components labeled. The ball valve gets its name from the type of disc it employs, which is the ball. That is this item here. And we can see now that the ball valve is in the fully open position. We can see directly through the valve. If we press the play button, the animation now will close the valve. And what we've effectively done is stop the flow. Notice that we only turn the valve 90 degrees. So this type of valve belongs to our quarter turn or 90 degree rotation valve family. Other valves at a quarter turn would include the plug valve and the butterfly valve. As with all quarter turn valves, they are quite quick to operate. You can install a gearbox on the top, a planetary type gearbox, although this means that you'll slow down the actuation speed of the valve or what they refer to as the response time. As you can see, the disc is manufactured of a metal material, looks to be stainless steel, as is the body itself. The seat is manufactured from a softer material, and this is going to be perhaps Teflon or some type of elastomeric material, perhaps neoprene or a stiff rubbery type of material. This allows us to press the disc in tight against the seat and we get a really good seal. We can see on top of the ball valve that the stem is connected to the ball valve in what looks to be a little ridge. What I'll do, I'll actually just get rid of some of these parts so we can see what is happening, such as the body. Okay, so now we can see that the stem connects, let me get rid of the labels as well. The stem connects into the top or in this groove on top of the ball. And that's what allows us to rotate the ball and open and close the valve. Notice that the shape is rectangular and this allows us to apply a high amount of torque without deforming the top of the ball valve. When I talk about deforming or deformation, I mean rounding off the top of the ball valve. So we've got quite a large area for the stem to come into contact with the disc so we don't run the risk of rounding the top of the ball valve which would mean then that we can't turn the ball anymore. So that is how a ball valve works. We've looked at the advantages and disadvantages. You have a rough idea that you can use this valve for on off applications, not so much for high temperature applications and definitely not for throttling applications. If you like this video, please do share it on social media or forward it to your friends. It helps us out a lot and helps us get more watch time on YouTube, which ultimately helps us grow and create more and more content. If you've got questions or comments, please do let me know. Thank you very much for your time.